Myasthenia gravis and Lambert-Eaton syndrome. These are two commonly confused uh, diseases on exams. So as far as the frequency of encountering these two, I don't think you're going to encounter them very frequently at all. If you're going to encounter one or the other, it's likely going to be myasthenia gravis. For myasthenia gravis, the patient is going to present with a complaint of weakness. They have a generalized weakness that waxes and wanes, or they may say that they feel they have an eyelid weakness, or they have weak jaw muscles, especially notable with eating. For Lambert-Eaton, and this is where you can tell the difference in the two, they're going to have a proximal weakness that improves with use. So on physical exam, for myasthenia gravis, you may ask a patient to use their muscles and find that there's a fatiguing that occurs quite rapidly. And with Lambert-Eaton, you may find uh, depressed reflexes, actually. As far as imaging goes, once you're suspecting either one of these etiologies, you may want to go ahead and get a chest x-ray because they are associated with neoplastic syndrome. Once you diagnose either one, though, you would want to just get a CT of the chest. If a patient is complaining of those ocular symptoms, that, that lid lag or that heaviness to the eyelids, a CT head or MRI may be helpful. So how do we diagnose this? With myasthenia gravis, you can use an electrophysiological nerve study or a nerve stimulation test. And this is helpful because there are autoantibodies to the postsynaptic acetylcholine receptor, which decreases the ability of acetylcholine to bind and fire neurons, hence the weakness. For Lambert-Eaton syndrome, the autoantibodies are going to be to the presynaptic calcium channels. Because of this, you're going to have a decrease of acetylcholine release into the synaptic cleft, hence an inability for that distal neuron to fire. For treatment, myasthenia gravis is treated with pyridostigmine or neostigmine. And these work by increasing acetylcholine. Myasthenia gravis is associated with thymoma. So if there happens to be one, surgical resection of that thymoma will actually cure the disease. And Lambert-Eaton syndrome, well, nearly half the cases are associated with a perineoplastic syndrome of the lung. So treating that underlying condition should cure the syndrome.